Uh, we had some clouds out. At least Mother Nature's not causing problems because there was fog this morning. Yeah. And that does delay flights coming in. Not right. coming out. You can take off, by the way. In the fog. In zero visibility, wow. but you cannot land in zero visibility. You can so. get up above it pretty quickly, huh? Yeah. Well, and just, be, yeah, you're, you're, you're going out. You need to see where the, the, the cement is when you're going, <laughs> going they, up. It's a little easier. Don't they easier. call that faith? <laughs> There's a little bit of that there, Rick. All right, let's take a look. We're right down the street from us. This is over at uh, Colfax Elementary School. Right here in Valley Village, literally down the street from us, and you can see the fog lifting out of Studio City. However, we still have some cloud cover out there, and I'm going to show you why we had the clouds coming up here in just a minute. Let's take a look at some temperatures, though. Today, we're keeping those temperatures in check by a little bit of that cloud cover that we had this morning. We've got 50s out there, anticipating highs getting into the low to mid 60s. You can see a healthy dose of clouds streaming right across. I think by this afternoon, though, uh, I'd say in the next couple of hours, we're just going to see mostly sunny skies. Uh, but some clouds are hanging on after that dense fog that we had this morning. In fact, there was a dense fog advisory for much of the San Fernando Valley. A series of cold fronts are going to move through the Southland, uh, but I don't expect much in the way of any kind of rainfall as those systems push through. Temperatures will be running just a touch below average as they are going to today. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Why the clouds? Had a little weak eddy circulation. Whenever there's a coastal eddy where the winds come down past Point Conception, swirl around in that counterclockwise wise fashion. They're going to kick up some clouds and we did have some fog. I suspect tomorrow we're also going to wake up to some cloudy skies. The big picture is you have this storm set that's up to the north. Now a little wave of energy from this will break off and move in our direction on Saturday. But you have a, a nice steady track of storms across the, the uh, Pacific right now. None of them really doing all that much for us. There's a storm engine here, so that counterclockwise rotation, little waves of energy ripping off of this uh, storm engine, but none of it, again, as they move into our area, the cold front just falls apart so we don't tap into that moisture that we absolutely need. I've been harping on this all week long. We've got 60s for your highs today. You headed to Newport, it's going to be about 61, 62 in Hawthorne. And we'll run down the forecast for you. We've got 65 degrees for your daytime high in the mid 60s. Another front, there it is, Saturday pushes through, but again, I suspect it'll be mostly dry as that system pushes in. If anything, we'll get a couple of scattered showers. We'll kick up some clouds, very similar to the system that we uh, saw the other day. Uh, Sunday, we'll keep the clouds in the forecast, but keep temperatures into the 60s. And there's actually one more front that pushes through on Tuesday, and that one looks like it's dry. Back to you.